What's up folks and welcome. This is the month nine update for the aged domain case study that I'm doing in partnership with Otis.Global. Now of all of the things that happened in the last 30 days, I have to say that the most important thing and the most exciting thing is that I got a new onesie. That's right. If you follow my channel, you know that I do love like working in cozy adult pajamas. And I was so tickled by this one. I think it is a fox. It says, Foxy on it. But anyway, I am going to wear it in this video and feel free to roast me if you like. I don't care. So if you follow the channel, you will have noticed that I've been a little quiet about, uh, you know, talking on Twitter because I did join the Twitterverse and also about posting here on YouTube. And part of that is because I've adopted this mm, wait and see feeling about, you know, all of these updates and, and really trying to decide what is the best for me personally and my family, especially when it comes to investing a lot of time and money in content. And I just want to make sure that when I am taking these actions that, that they're the right call. I find it really interesting to, you know, now that I'm on the, the Twitter verse to see people who overall their portfolio has maybe behaved consistently throughout this year. None of my sites have done the same thing throughout any of this. There are three sites that I'm working on or I'm, I'm generally focusing my, my attention on right now, even though I have a larger portfolio. And those code names are the Mega site, the Fight site, and my Otis.Global site. So the Mega site, and the fight site have done like a lot of this. But this 14 year old domain that I got from Otis.Global has done more of this. So what you're looking at on the screen right now is the year to date screenshot from Google Analytics. And pretty much what you see here is a site that looks to be behaving normally. The site has 120 or so articles. So you would love to see maybe more traffic. But for the most part, the traffic line looks like fairly normal. And lately, given what we're seeing from some other folks and what they're going through, um, I will take normal. Because you love screenshots, I'm going to post really quickly my uh, Excel spreadsheet that shows the progress of the site. I mean, it's clear from the Google Analytics screenshot that things are improving, but you can just see overall where things have come from because sometimes the numbers are nice to see. Basically, it just confirms that September will be or has been the best month uh, so far. And it's not surprising to see a site start to gain some legs right around now. I mean, it would have been nice to see it happen in the last couple of months, you know, maybe in June, but September, month nine, not terrible. I'm also excited to report that the site is finally starting to earn some money. And well, it's not a lot of money, it's definitely better than a few pennies a month. So this site is monetized with the Zoic ads. And this is the screenshot for the last 30 days. In August, the site earned about $8 and the EPMV was pretty low. It was only three and a half dollars. But in September, the EPMV has jumped up to over $8. And with the increase in traffic, the site is going to earn somewhere between 30 and $40 this month. The last 30 days, it was around $35. Again not knock your socks off dollars, revenue, earnings. But at the same time, I, I feel really positive and good about it because it is going in the right direction. As long as the site is going up every month, I still feel like it is worthwhile to work on it and invest in it. Now you will notice that I did not post any content this month. I didn't post any content on the site in August either. Everyone is dealing with the updates in their own way. I am generally, I mean, I mean, really conservative about what it is, how I extend myself here online. So for me, it really felt like a time to mm, just watch and then invest my time rather than a lot of money. But there's only one of me. And in the month of September, the only one of me mostly worked on the fight side. So what can we take away from this, from the update? from all the various updates. I'm also not going to say that this site hasn't been impacted by the updates at all. This here is a screenshot from the Google Search Console. Now you can definitely see some bumps back in August as well as back in May. Now the reason that we didn't see dramatic impacts on traffic is the site is still fairly young and there wasn't really that much traffic overall anyway. However, the end result has, has been, basically the site looks like it is normal. So again, Takeaways. We can argue till the cows come home about what the HCU, the helpful content update is really doing and what, what is really happening or what it is looking for. I am not ready to agree on anything about content length, about author boxes, about specific FAQs, about AI versus not. It's hard to ignore the fact that my Otis.Global site was the one that had the most links.
It was the oldest site, and the MEGA site and the FITE site are both less than two years old. I'm definitely not sold on the, like the overarching statement that age domains are better. But in this case, in the last series of updates this year, maybe they were. Let's see what happens next month.